Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kino Martini Cross Nation. And for today's video, we're basically, uh, for those of you that had missed out on the Square Enix live stream that they had yesterday, if you weren't able to join, don't worry, I've got your back. Uh, I'm basically gonna be spending today's episode going over all of the kind of highlight takeaways uh, from the stream that are all you really need to know. Um, in case you happen to miss it. But I figured I'd make this video instead of just like posting the stream itself on my channel. Uh, primarily because of the fact that most of it was kind of fluff and not very interesting. At least not to me and a like, good portion of my viewers. If you've ever watched one of their Union Cross live streams before, uh, it, it comes across as just a lot of fluff. And at least for what I believe to be a good portion of us who come to these streams, we just kind of want to get straight to the point. We don't really want to mess around and... Uh, watch other people learn how to play the game, which I don't necessarily have too much of a problem with but when it comes to you know Watching a respected company like Square Enix like live stream. There's a certain amount of Professionalism that I expect um, at least from me personally But at least for me anyways I kind of would just prefer it if they just got straight to the point rather than kind of like messing around doing polls and learning how to play the game and, and rating and stuff like that. Because that's kind of what I'm there for is to just, you know, learn about new updates and find out what's new. That's that's what I'm doing. Uh, if they want to do any sort of like Q&A things afterwards and, you know, want to chill uh, after they make those announcements, I am all up for that. But I'm pretty confident that there's a good portion of us that find them kind of uninteresting if when they're not actually saying anything that's relevant to why we're there if that makes sense by all means please don't take this as me bashing on them because i know they do have a difficult job because from what i could tell from the interview there's not a very lot of them on the team at all i think they said three maybe um i could be wrong but even Glacy said at the very beginning of the interview that she literally only had like four or five hours of sleep because she just came back from a convention and stuff like that for the game and stuff and so they're constantly constantly working and traveling and such so please it's, it's not meant to bash it's just more to be kind of like constructive criticism uh, if that makes sense but aside from that let's go ahead and jump into what are the main takeaways things that you guys need to know that came from yesterday's stream some of it's actually pretty surprising some of them are just kind of like okay just nice to know quality of life type things uh, but to start off let's just say that they did announce that they had over 60 thousand responses to the survey that we had about a week ago now if you haven't done your survey already um, i'm sorry to say that's kind of too late the survey has already been closed as of yesterday i believe um, so if you haven't done that you missed out on your chance on getting a free 3,000 jewels now i will say this number is actually significantly higher than i ever actually expected it to be uh, to be honest i only kind of expected maybe like 20 to 30,000 at most to hear it was basically double that if not more to me It just kind of blows my mind a little bit and I, I think that's pretty cool um, It partially kind of sucks though thinking about on their side of things though uh, Because from what I can recall from watching the stream um, It's only gonna be with the one girl named Emily who's sitting on the right hand side the blonde girl uh, she's gonna be the one of the sole people going through all 60,000 of this survey So I'm not expecting any changes coming from our surveys to happen anytime soon uh, Let's just put it that way. I like to be honest I wouldn't expect any sort of changes like resulting from the surveys to happen for at least the next three or four months at the very least. Uh, so please, if you're expecting any changes to happen sometime soon because of the survey, uh, I'm here to tell you to, you're probably better off waiting a bit from it. The second thing that I want to let you guys know is about Sephiroth himself. Now I know I made a video about this like a few days ago or so, talking about the fact that he's actually available in the Japanese version of the game, um, or he's going to be, uh, for you to fight and such, and that he's going to be essentially making his way towards global sooner or later as well, just by, you know, that's how, the, how it usually happens. Uh, although they did announce in the stream that as of right now anyway, Sephiroth is currently only exclusively available for GP, and we will not be seeing Sephiroth anytime soon within Global, although, although, at the very least, she did give a bit of hints that we might possibly see him during our own anniversary as well. So at least it's something worth looking forward to. The next thing to mention as well is the fact that in case you are a new 
player or even a veteran player who was there when these events actually happened. So you know how, as of right now, we have the Organization 13 events that happen once a month um, that usually last for about a week or two or so? Well, in the past, the, the year before they started doing the current Organization 13 events, we had a different sort of Organization 13 events where we still got to fight the Organization 13 members, uh, although of course they were weaker and they actually awarded us medals uh, called like their B metal. So we had like Roxas B, Xemnas B, uh, Axel B and such. Okay, they were tier three medals um, and they were pretty decent for tier three medals. However, as part of the Organization 13 events at that time, you're actually able to get their hairstyles as well. So if you ever wanted Xemnas' hairstyle or Zigbar's hairstyle and such, uh, you're actually able to complete the quest and get those accessories for your avatar as well. And they announced in their stream that those type of quests are actually going to be returning uh, sometime soon. I don't know when exactly, but just they're just gonna be returning. Next up, they had also announced that a quote unquote secret uh, Volps event reward is going to be coming in the future. I have no idea what this is going to be. I know a lot of people speculated that, oh, these are going to be the foretellers, but honestly to me, that doesn't really make too sense because the foretellers encompass all of the unions, not specifically just Volps um, or Volpez, however you guys want to pronounce it. And as we all know, the leader of Volps, I'm going to continue saying Volps, <laughs> the leader of Volps is Ava. Uh, so the fact that they specifically singled out Volps in regards to this like secret event reward coming up uh, seems a little bit funky to me and I, I highly doubt that it's actually related to the foreteller banners at all whatsoever. The second to last thing I want to mention before I end this video is the fact that they did make a comment and it was actually in response to one of my comments when I asked him in the stream. Um, I had asked them about like, you know, PvP and like silver tickets and such and he had made a comment saying that the PvP rewards will actually be changing sometime soon. Now, whenever they say soon, it usually doesn't mean like on like the next two weeks or so from from past experience it, it, it might very easily take a month before i start seeing these changes very possibly but in case you aren't aware and i know i haven't talked about this in a video just yet but the, now is a good time to mention it they have a, made an additional change already within pvp if you actually go ahead and take a look at the uh rewards like the tier brackets within PvP right now, the the tier brackets and actually the amount of rewards in each tier bracket as well have actually been bumped up already uh, to which they kind of resemble that of what they would be for a luxury week, uh, which is worth noting because we are currently not in a luxury week, at least not as far as I'm aware, we're not in a luxury week. Uh, so those have already been bumped up and I'm assuming that these are going to actually stay towards from now on okay um, and it actually kind of upset me a little bit at first before I, I watched the stream uh, because of the fact that I thought like this was their way of saying it like that that's that's all they're gonna do in terms of changing the you know tier brackets and rewards because at least in terms of re the rewards at least one of these two things need to change if not both which is one that tier three uh, fairies within silver tickets need to be either completely removed or the percentage rate of getting them needs to be significantly reduced where it's a lot more fair to actually get other tiers of fairies within silver tickets and the second thing is that I firmly believe that gold tickets should at the very least be released into the top 5,000 bracket and not be solely in the top 3,000 and higher brackets just because of the fact that even top 3,000 alone can be fairly of a struggle to get into for most players. Uh, even just going into PvP itself, you see that little triangle there. Top 3000 is still like a good portion of the top tip of that triangle. It's pretty hard for, to get into for a lot of players. But at the very least, they did announce that the actual PvP rewards themselves are still gonna be changed. Uh, and those are coming soon. So that was good to know. Last but not least, and this is actually sparking a bit of controversy online already, which is that they had announced in the stream that the story between Union Cross and Kingdom Hearts 3 won't actually really cross over too much. And that in the case that the story in Union Cross isn't fully up to date uh, by the time that Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, uh, don't worry, you won't miss out too much. Of course, the controversy behind that is that... <laughs> is the fact that throughout the past few months, Nomura, Tetsuya Nomura, 
has been kind of like alluding and making the statement that like Union Cross is going to be making a connection with Kingdom Hearts 3 and it's going to be like more or less somewhat important to to know about. Now, I I also recall in the past as well that he did mention that there wasn't going to be too much of a like tie in terms of like Union Cross stuff appearing in Kingdom Hearts 3. Although I know I, I recall that there was a slight mention uh, that you might hear them in the form of like whispers and stuff. But it's causing a lot of confusion online because I know a large portion of the player base and chances are a lot of you guys who was watching this video as well are playing the game primarily because you want to learn about the story because the fact it's supposed to have some type of you know big impact on the lore of Kingdom Hearts in general. So yeah it's been making a bit of, of controversy and Kingdom Hearts Insider on Twitter actually got a bit of a heads up from Square Enix himself saying that they're going to be releasing an official announcement sometime shortly regarding the comments that were made in the Union Crossed uh, stream regarding the story update. So I don't know if this means that what Glacy said within the stream is going to be officially stated as true or maybe if it was just a slip up or not um, and like an accidental statement that wasn't actually completely accurate. Uh, it could be taken either way so time will have to tell uh, in regards to this. But other than that, that's it for today guys. I just want to quickly go over all of the kind of like highlights and takeaways that you guys should probably know about uh, from that stream. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. I would like to hear what your guys thoughts are about uh, all of these new announcements and stuff made from the stream down in the comment section down below. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.